Hi, how are you? Um, today I'm going to record a video on what is the problem on my brake light switch. It is, <clears throat> excuse me, it is not turning off. Whenever my brake light, whenever I park my vehicle, I just noticed it yesterday. Uh, the brake light stays on, so basically what I'm trying to say is I've been driving around with brake lights on. And so I looked at the bottom of my floor on the driver's side, and I noticed that there was a broken piece of plastic. <clears throat> well, that piece of little plastic was the button that pushes this switch to shut on and off my brake light. Where my finger will be the button that broke. Okay, so when you press the brake, it pushes this in and it turns and it turns on the light or it turns it off. I can't remember which one. I'll, I'll I'll explain it later. But I bought the switch at AutoZone yesterday, right after I noticed it. And it it's the right part, but it didn't come with the button that connects to the pedal, the brake pedal to push this. So after looking at several YouTube videos on how to fix it and, and what I can do, I came across an idea that might be a little kind of uh, tricky, but very smart. Uh, just to remind you, my vehicle is a 2000 Nissan Xterra, 3.3 uh, liter engine, V6, with a with the two-wheel drive, not four by four. And so <clears throat> a couple months ago, I bought a new placard for the for my vehicle, the, uh, a placard to put my license plate frame. And I bought an extra pair of, uh, an extra set of these um, screws that kind of hold, hold the license plate together. And I couldn't find anything else to do it. So but anyways, to make a long story short, what I'm going to attempt to do is Maybe I might not have to use the new switch. I might just leave the one that's on there because the broken part is the button that is connected to the brake pedal that pushes this when I brake and release the, the brake pedal. Pushes it in and out. So in the brake pedal, there is a little hole where the button connects to. I'm just assuming this is going to be like the pedal here if it's up in the air it's a pedal right here like this and then when you press a brake it'll push and release depending on when you push it and when you don't so sorry about all that coffee drop right there but uh, I'm gonna connect one of these buttons onto the onto the pedal and then put the screw behind it and that should work as a button for now. So, wish me luck and I'll get back to you and show you how it came out. I will, I'll try to record step by step. And then I'll show you the vehicle. <clears throat> One thing I would like to recommend is that if your, light, if your brake light remains on, while your vehicle is parked and off, you remove your fuse. Okay, you go to your fuse box and on the cover, it'll indicate which one it is. See the stop lamp? That one is right here. So what I did was I took off the, the fuse so it wouldn't drain my battery. Okay, so I'll put that over there. Another thing I would like to recommend is if you are a person who wears glasses to see, like I am, to put on a strap. You can buy these uh, Walmart, Kmart, anywhere. CVS has them. And they're only like two bucks. You can even get them at a sporting store. Put it on because when you're underneath the panel here, 
these, these are going to be bothering you. You got to be moving around and putting, putting your head in different directions, so in different angles. So I just recommend that. Several other things I would like to recommend is a flashlight, because when you're going to be working underneath here, a little light will be helpful. So that's just another heads up. Several tools that I have in hand is a three quarter inch ratchet with an adapter and an extension connected to a half inch socket. Because what I'm gonna have to try to do is remove that, that plate. There's two plates right there. I'm sorry, I can't get the video right. Okay, here we go. That and that right there have to be removed so I can get to the to the sense to that part right there. You see that? You see that right there? God. So, give me a second, please. Holy Christ! Well, I wasn't really able to record what I did, but let me try to show you what I did without without recording it. What I did was I put you know, one screw. Actually, I put two screws because I, I couldn't tell which sensor was the one that was the brake when they were both missing. So this is the shape that it was, and I put the screw. The, Oh, in the back. We got one and two. And it's a task, you guys. I mean, this fucking little plate right here wasn't able to come off. There's a screw. There's, there's something here. There's no screw there to unscrew it. And on that side is the same as this side. But I did unscrew the bolt that holds the plate up. So in order to in order to take this out like this out back, this part has to be loose and it's not. It can't there's no there's no bolt there or anything to release it. You probably have to take out this whole portion of the steering wheel column or the steering wheel system to remove this plate. I'm not gonna do that. So anyways, make a long story short have my vehicle on and running so that the brake pedal can re release more pressure anyways I put them on there and I put my 20 volt fuse back on and I'm gonna show you the light off see now it's off And so, most of the work was by feel. It wasn't really by seeing, because I couldn't, I had a terrible angle. And so, God, I wish I could have done a better video, but what you gotta do is locate the sensors, which are those two right there, find out which one is the brake and which one is the cruise control. So the previous owner had one missing on on the cruise control, which is on the left side here. The gas pedal is on the right, and the brake pedal is on the left as I'm speaking. So I first put the screw and the bolt on the left sensor, which is the cruise control, thinking that that would be the brake light switch. I turn on my vehicle and put the fuse on and well put the fuse on and turn on my vehicle and I went back to see if the light was on or off and it was still on which led me to think and to believe and to know that the sensor on the right is the stop switch and as I was feeling and touching and, and sensing behind the brake pedal I noticed it was missing the bolt or the button 
So what I did, I just uh, put the screw and the button on and the bolt on there, and now it's off. I gotta make sure that they're tight. And that's how I fixed it. Good luck to whoever needs this kind of help. On a 2000 Nissan Xterra, light switch on a brake. <sighs> Sorry, it's the brake light switch that does not turn off when your vehicle is parked and off. If you need help, don't take it to a mechanic first. Check this pedal. Okay, check the pedal. Then release the fuse so your battery won't die out with the light on. And then you can either, depending on your need, you can go to the store. I checked Advanced Auto Parts, AutoZone, and um, the only thing I could find it on is on website orders and the car dealer. So that is the only reason why I had to go through my tools and all my, like I told you guys, these were for the, these are for the license plate frame and I use them. And they're back there right now, working as buttons for my brake light switch. So that's the end of that story. Good luck to whoever needs it. Bye.